The head of the civil service of the Federation, Mrs. Didi Esther Watson Jack, ON MNI, has expressed commitment to the welfare of Nigerian civil servants across the country. Speaking at a press briefing in Abuja on Monday in commemoration of her 100 days in office, the head of the service recalled that by the time she assumed office on August 14, 2024, the new minimum wage had already been approved by His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and then it became imperative to work on the consequential adjustments of salaries adjusting from the implementation of the new minimum wage. She thanked the chairperson and executives of the National Joint Public Service Negotiating Council for their cooperation and understanding that facilitated the conclusion of negotiations in record time, as well as President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for approving the new minimum wage and the consequential adjustment to salaries and for ensuring the prompt payments demonstrating his commitment to the welfare of civil servants. By the time I assumed office on 14th August 2024, the new minimum wage had already been approved by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR. It became imperative to work on consequential adjustments of salaries arising from the implementation of the new minimum wage. I must thank the chairperson and executive of the National Joint Public Service Negotiating Council for their cooperation and understanding that enabled us to conclude the negotiations in record time. Recounting her transformative strides in the last 100 days, while St. Jack said it is now time to perform a thorough audit of the progress made so far and to identify the goals ahead. She said the event is not just about celebrating milestones, but also about fostering transparency, sharing vision for the future, and ensuring that every Nigerian understands the importance of the reforms that is being undertaken in the Federal Civil Service. Transforming the Federal Civil Service is an ongoing process that demands dedication, resilience, and collaboration. To every civil servant, every stakeholder, and every Nigerian, I urge you to join us in embodying the epic values of efficiency, productivity, incorruptibility, and citizen-centeredness in all that we do. The head of service said her commitment to fast track and sustain the six pillars for reforms outlined in the Federal Civil Service Strategy and Implementation Plan FCIP 2021-2025 remains unfettered. This strategy, she said, is a blueprint for transforming the civil service into a professional, efficient and globally competitive institution. We launched the Nigeria Federal Civil Service Online Academy, an e-learning platform designed to empower civil servants with the knowledge and skills needed for their roles. It offers civil servants the opportunity to upskill and reskill through a variety of online courses tailored to our unique needs. This academy will play a vital role in equipping our workforce with the competences required to meet the challenges of a dynamic global landscape. To this end, she said her administration inaugurated seven war rooms, each of which is dedicated to overseeing one of the six pillars of the FCIP reforms. And happening on the importance of partnerships and collaboration, the head of service said this has been at the heart of her efforts since her early days in office. Mrs. Walsing Jack listed that the office under her leadership has set out workable partnerships with the World Bank, the UK Civil Service, the United Nations Development Programme, the African Development Bank, the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management, the Ike Imokude Foundation, and Nigeria's National Assembly. And highlights of Monday's event included the unveiling and relaunch of the Service Welfare Newsletter and the Civil Service News Magazine. Emmanuel Obiswe, Heritage Times Africa. Party.